I'm William Gilliland. I and my wife Pat are geology project leaders here in Shawnee County. Uh, we've been with the 4-H uh, geology project for quite a number of years and have a lot of fun with uh, working with the young people. Uh, geology project is one of those projects which takes quite a bit of family involvement because we do have field trips that we take the uh, kids out on for uh, the county project and also every year there are state field trips in which uh, four eaters from all over the state can get together in either one or two uh, field trips that are offered in a year's time and collect and find out about the geology of uh, different parts of the state and where they live. Uh, initially our involvement with 4-H geology was uh, when our children were in 4-H. I'm a retired geologist and we've worked uh, as project leaders. Uh, the very first state field trip we were on was back in the 1980s in which I and one other geologist helped identify uh, rocks, minerals, and fossils for the 4-H'ers under a uh, street light in the uh, uh, fairgrounds. And we were helping kids identify things until almost midnight at that time. Here in Shawnee County, we do try to have uh, monthly meetings during the uh, first part of the year. Uh, these are held at Warspring University. Uh, the meetings we introduce them to the basic geology ideas, the geology of the state, and help them learn how to identify rocks, minerals, and fossils. We try to have uh, one or two uh, county project field trips each year, and then we encourage as many families as possible to go to the state field trips. On a state field trip, uh, the first evening we have uh, workshops introducing the kids to various phases of geology, helping them to learn how to prepare specimens for uh, fairs. We also uh, have a time in which they just get acquainted with uh, other 4-H'ers across the state. Then on Saturday and Sunday we go out on field trips and collect material. And these are often in locations where uh, the majority of the members uh, don't have access to. We also have identification aids on Saturday night, a uh, statewide contest in Geology Quiz Bowl. There are also statewide contests in uh, Geology Judging for seniors and juniors. Uh, Sunday, we try to get everything uh, cleaned up so by the end of the last stop on Sunday, people are free to return to their homes. For the state field trip, we do produce uh, guidebooks that can be used for reference and education all during the year uh, around the, particularly at the counties where they don't have professional geologists helping out. Now uh, after the break we'll uh, if you'll come back with us we'll have some information about some of the interesting and amazing rock formations that we can find and see here in Kansas. Uh, we have had some 4-H'ers uh, find some extraordinary specimens. Uh, being younger than we adults are and with sharper eyes, they can spot things that uh, we often miss. In western Kansas, we've had 4-H'ers uh, find uh, portions of vertebrates, animals, uh, some of the uh, mosasaurs, uh, quite often shark's teeth. Uh, one of our 4-H'ers found a uh, very long segment of uh, fish vertebra that they were able to uh, uh, excavate and uh, show at the various fairs and even taken to some of the Gem and the Mineral Society shows. As a professional I had always thought trilobites, the very small arthropods, were rare and hard to find. And I would find pieces of them but I never would find a complete one and there would always be 4-H'ers who'd walk up and talk to me and pick them up right at my feet. They were complete and beautiful specimens. But here in eastern Kansas, uh, more often the uh, project members are looking for marine fossils from when the oceans were in Kansas. 
As we go west, then we find younger oceans out there, and we also find uh, plant fossils from Cretaceous times out of the Dakota Formation. Of course, everybody likes the uh, spectacular chalk bluffs and pyramids uh, of western Kansas. And then nature has been nice to us in Kansas. The uh, erosion of the Rocky Mountains brings many uh, rocks and mineral specimens into the western Kansas out of the Ogallala and the river alluviums. And here in northeastern Kansas, the glaciers brought uh, exotic rocks and minerals that uh, occur clear up into Canada, that were gathered up by the glacial rocks and by the glacial ice and brought down and deposited here in the northeastern part of the state. Uh, we also uh, encourage the youngsters to learn about the uh, natural resources of Kansas and how that's helped in the historical development of Kansas. 4-H is a project uh, that initially started for farm families. Now the various uh, projects have been expanded for uh, anyone, urban populations, farm populations, can find uh, projects they'd like to be involved with. Uh, range from farm animals and crops to uh, rocketry, uh, pets, uh, arts, clothing, foods, which happens to be one of my favorite portions. Uh, the 4 H'ers can contact their uh, county extension offices for information about clubs that are active in the area. There are local clubs that uh, work all the projects together and then there are some specialty clubs that uh, just concentrate on things like geology and dogs and horses. And there's always entry level to bring young people in and get them acquainted with it. We found in geology a lot, very few of the 4-H'ers go on as professional geologists, but with the exposure to the sciences, often they find some uh, area that they want to go into as their profession. So it's always great to find them and then later find them coming back as leaders to their own 4-H groups.